In this video, I speed ran Minecraft as the Soul Reaper. He is three blocks tall, has two rows of hearts, afraid of water, and steals a soul from any living creature around him. Can I beat the game with this insane creature? You're about to find out. I'll make a deal with you. If I entertain you throughout this video, you have to hit that like button, okay? Enjoy the video. Subject 17B is currently on the edge of consciousness. He is able to hear us and so far has no sign of soul tear. I've got a good feeling about this one. Let's start the simulation. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, what? Wow, I look menacing. <laughs> this is so cool. Being three blocks tall is going to be so annoying though. Ooh, let's go. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am also immune to lava since I am a nether mob. Even as this powerful creature, I still have to start by punching a tree. Wait, what? I hear villagers. What? There's a village right here? Oh my gosh, this is a pretty nice spawn. Whoever came up with filtered seas is an actual genius. So here are a couple of my strengths and weaknesses as the Soul Reaper. Number one, I am three blocks tall, so that is going to be extremely annoying when trying to go under two block gaps. Water also gives me a very nasty wither effect, you don't want to get caught in that. Any mob within five blocks of me begins to die because I am kind of stealing their soul and all. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of overpowered, and I am not a good person for doing that. But now that I'm thinking about it, trading with villagers is not going to be an option. Also, this one's a big one. I can't regenerate my hearts naturally at all. So eating food isn't really going to do anything except for reset my sprint. So the only way I can regenerate my hearts is by stealing the souls of other creatures. I know that sounds terrible, but hear me out. It is. Okay, now that I say it out loud, that sounds horrible. <laughs> sometimes this is extremely overpowered, and sometimes it is a bad weakness. Like in the end, you you'll see later. There are a few more strengths and weaknesses shown later in the video, so stay tuned for that also. Now that that is taken care of, we can focus on beating the game. Wow, killing the iron golem has never been easier. I would normally make a bucket, but water kills me, so it is kind of useless. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, squid. Yeah, so water kills me pretty fast. Ugh, I already forgot about the water. Oh my goodness, it's already night? <laughs> what the... Okay, I don't even know what that was. Okay, forget it. I'm just gonna skip the night. All these pesky mobs everywhere. <laughs> ah, stupid witch. Oh, here's another thing I forgot to mention. Because I am part of the undead, rotten flesh is actually an overpowered food source. It still gives you the hunger effect, but it will fill seven whole saturation bars. That's insane when compared to something like the steak. The steak only does four. Like, how lame is that? Come on, let's find this chest already. Sheesh. Oh, sweet baby mama. I'll take it. Dude, and the portal is finishable? Oh my gosh. Awesome, but now I need gravel. Oh my gosh, please. I just want some flint. Oh, okay. That's enough. Let's get Let's get out of here. Okay, not cool at all, but at least we got a flint. Wow, water is definitely an issue. Let's just already go into the nether. Nice! A crimson forest, dude! No pun intended, but another one of my strengths is that I have strength too while I'm in the nether, since it is my home and all. Yeah, these guys don't even phase me anymore. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, this is actually super annoying being three blocks tall. Wow. Oh yeah, I have an insta mining pick. Let's get that out. Ooh, I have an idea. Since I need more health, I can just kill these pigmen and it will regenerate my hearts. This is actually smart. Wow. It's big brain time. I have been practicing my ladder clutching recently, so... Yeah, I am a pro gamer. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. I want more flesh. Give it to me. Give me the flesh, my buddy. Please give it to me, pigmen. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot I was immune to lava. Wow, I just had a heart attack. <laughs> Let's go, it's about time. Ugh, this is so annoying. Where are you, little blaze spawner? Come out, come out wherever you are. Where could you be? What the heck? What the heck is this thing? Oh, hello, blazes. What the? They're like little mini weather skeleton babies. What the heck? What is going on? Okay, we need to kill this guy. 
<laughs> he fell. Oh my. Oh my gosh. What the? I almost fell. Whew. <laughs> this is all very bizarre. What is going on? Yes, I'm finished. So since I finished getting the blaze rods, I was rewarded with a nightmare. Not a literal nightmare, although it could be. These are the crown jewel of horses. Quite possibly the fastest horse in all the land. And it looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, this thing is actually like lightning. What the heck? Okay, but it sucks at jumping. That is terribly unbalanced. Are you serious? This is a literal cheat code. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so I had to abandon my horse. <laughs> The terrain was just too hard to traverse in the nether like lava lakes and all that I mean I we both are immune to lava but that would take forever and this is a speed run technically although I did abandon him I did give him a great home some place where he will always be warm now the question is will these guys try to kill me I don't think so no they won't okay Phew, that makes my life a whole lot easier. I can now root the bastion as is. Dang it, I forgot that I killed the piglins. Ah, shoot. Um, I guess, I guess I'll just grab the gold and try to find some other way to trade. Oh my goodness, this is, this may be a pain. Like I said, this could be either very overpowered or very bad. Oh wait, no, wait, that, that was about the regenerating cards. Whatever, no, don't, don't even pay attention to me. Ooh, I'll take a diamond shovel, sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. And let's go to the treasure room. Okay, you did not see that. No one saw that, okay? Oh my gosh, that chest. Wow, that is OP. I'll make a netherite pickaxe. Let's go. And a diamond sword. Wow, that's awesome. Who can stop me now? All right, piglins, get in the hole. I put like two stacks of gold there, so don't disappoint me. Meanwhile, we should go try and get some netherite. Oh my goodness, that didn't take that long at all. Let's go. Okay, I have enough now. Let's just get out of here. Let's just make an axe and now we can make a netherite sword. Woo, let's go. Oh, pearls, sweet. 16? No, 18. Let's go. Woo. And in this version, pearls are a lot rarer, so that's really nice. Thank you guys for, uh, sacrificing your, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, time. <laughs> yeah, time to give me my stuff. <laughs> time to go. Okay, I need to get to the good coordinates, and then we'll be fine and dandy. I saw a ruined portal just up this hill, and I can finish it. And it's like the perfect coordinates, too. Ugh, in a cave? What? Lame. Oh my gosh, it's under the ocean? Are you kidding me? I'm I'm gonna die. I'm I'm literally gonna Oh Phew Wow, I almost just died and ruined the run. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is actually really bad. I literally can't do anything. It's it's a stupid ocean! Normally an open exposed is the way to go, but th that is literally the worst case scenario. Oh my goodness. I literally die from water how am i supposed to do this oh okay i see an island over there i'll just i'll just speed bridge over okay <laughs> oh my goodness this is very strange without an animation wow i'm used i'm used to it bobbing up and down you know like with the crouch animation but okay okay we made it <laughs> Wow, this island saved us. That was literally my only hope. <laughs> okay, now we can get a lot more blocks because what we'll have to do is actually bridge to the stronghold. Uh, I hear sheep. Oh, let's go. I can regenerate a little bit. Okay, let's let's just see if being in a boat still kills us. Yes, yes it does. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, I'll just regenerate at night and cut down all the trees. Let's go! Fully regenerated. Death tried to take me, but he failed. Haha! -ha. I actually know Death. He's a friend of mine down in the nether. We used to play Skewer the Piglin when we were little. Ah! <sighs> After all, we are brothers. Man, those were good times back in the day. Man, he got the cooler job, but I got the cooler name. I mean, the Soul Reaper. <laughs> uh, who can argue that? Man, it's been a while since we've talked, actually. I should give him a call after I beat the game. He used to love telling me his favorite joke. Okay, uh, what do you call a piglin standing on another fossil? Pork spit.
spare ribs? <laughs> wow, I cracked myself up with that one. <laughs> oh, wow, I came up with that all on my own. <laughs> that wasn't even his joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, enough of this funny business. I know you all are cringing inside, and so is future me, so I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we reached an island and I'll throw an eye. Okay, that's nice. No way, you're joking, you're, you're joking. Oh my goodness, it's right here, what the heck? And there's the portal room? Oh my word, this is, <laughs> this scene it would actually be really good for speed running, wow. That's also awesome because my forearm was getting tired too. Okay, I'll just build up and fall faster throughout the water. Okay, oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, come on, come on, come on, let's go, come on, oh my goodness, woo, phew, let's go, oh, uh, we are in, okay, that was scary, not gonna lie, I thought my three block tall head was gonna get in the way of the water, but it didn't, I do need to regenerate a little because in the end, I won't be able to get much. Endermen are very resistant to soul reaping because they teleport away so I can't really regenerate from them unless I get lucky So we still have to be pretty careful in the end. Okay. I am now ready. Let's finish this Okay, let's ride What what did I just get the soul harvester sharpness 20 fire aspect 10 efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 and mending That's insane Wow a prime weapon for harvesting souls. Oh my goodness, that is actually crazy. I guess I get it for being in the end. Sheesh, 11.5 attack damage too. I feel very powerful. And what, I also got a bow? Oh my word, the soul stealer. Unbreaking three, power five, punch two, flame infinity, and mending? Oh my gosh, that is OP because I don't even think you can get mending and infinity on the same bow, <laughs> what? Let's do this, shall we? Let's go, I can't miss. And another one down. Let's try. Oh, oh my gosh, that was lame. There we go. Ah, come on! Oh my goodness, look at that damage! Oh my, wow, that's a lot of damage. Talk about overpowered. Now it's time to do a proper one cycle. I just have to get prepared a little bit. Come down and meet your doom, Gene! Oh, oh, there's the snap. One, two, three, let's go. I think that could have been a four bed. Wow. Insane. Well, this has been fun. So, uh, I'll meet you guys all on the other side. Peace. What, what, uh. What, where, where am I? Subject has regained a slight consciousness and has survived the simulation. This could be the one we've been looking for. This is a lot more than I ever thought we would get throughout these experiments. We are traversing uncharted territory. Only time will tell if our plan will work. And if Subject 17B makes it out alive. <laughs>